my name is June Bates and I am the art lead at Astor College and we are a secondary school in the coastal area. It's a non-selective school in Dover, East Kent. Um, with a, the average number of students is about 802 coming and going. We have above average PP, uh, people premium, SEN and AL. <laughs> um, our secondary school is, it's historically recognised for our art status. Um, in 2003, we became an art specialist college and although when the government policy is changing, we still remain as keeping the arts high in our profile. So creative thinking is embedded into the curriculum um, and we offer the, the, at Key Stage 3, we offer as part of our DTE. So going back to what the first speaker was talking about, talking about planning your curriculum and our DT rotation, we offer ceramics and photography because that's going to lead on into the um, the options that they take at GCSE and it's always good for them to maybe take photography and another art subject because I'm sure we've all felt that in schools because the, the discount codes and, and what the GCSEs are worth now to no artists, non artists, we know what they're worth. But okay, so an art stretch school, we try and get the, the whole staff involved in some way. And um, just now we're on an art smart gold status, uh, and we're coming to the, the next part of this cycle where we're uh, submitting our statement of commitment for the next part. And um, we've got strong partnerships with local organizations with um, each partner helping deliver arts and cultural education beyond the classroom. And then since returning from lockdown, our focus has been on the art of well-being, where the students can recognize their arts practice as a life skill, as well as an academic opportunity. Um, I think I'm still on the first slide. Could we move it down to the art smart status slide? Or can I click on it? Carry on, Jean, because um, there's um, wonderful, rich images uh, in the PowerPoint, so it's just safe yeah. time catching okay, up. So we will, we're slung one slide behind you. <laughs> Jean, um, just yeah. let me know when you want me to move slides, yeah. and I'll do that for you. Okay, so our, when we applied for our... Okay, thank you. Okay, so when we applied for our ArtSmart status, um, we did our ArtSmart logic model which was really helpful and that helps us to we keep referring to that and that helps us with what we're delivering and how we're delivering it so some of our titles in this model was art, the Astor Arts Youth Council, the Art of Wellbeing, we work with the Tate Exchange and um, we're embedding arts award within the curriculum and we're trying to market the department with the wider community so if we move on to the the next slide Okay, the whole staff, oh, I've got done that one. So if we move down to um, our lovely Lego slide, we've got, um, we've tried to have a bit of fun with it. Our, we have creative leadership in the arts and uh, are involved with the, our um, pair of trustees who is uh, an artist in her own right. Um, she used to run the school, she used to be the headmaster of the school. Uh, our assistant principal, uh, one of the assistant principals is Derek Clue, and he is a practicing artist and also in charge of SEN. Um, I'm, I'm the art lead and I'm a graphic designer and animator and our team consists of textile artists, photographers, uh, ceramic, ceramicists, fine artists and product designers. I think you can see us all there as Lego characters. Um, we've also used our space to try and make a kind of arts hub within the school so that we've, we've all got our, our areas that the, the kids enjoy and um, identify as the, the art. If we, yeah, so we've got uh, quite a lot of space there. The white room, so the white room, Lego bricks there are teaching rooms. Um, we've got computer rooms, a kill room. Um, it sounds it sounds amazing, like we've had lots of funding in, but we've we've not we've fought for everything, and um, this is actually 
going down base wise and we, we try, keep trying to, to hold on to it um, through different connections. Um, so if we go into the, the, the next slide, um, we're talking about the, the different parts of the plan uh, from the arts model. So we're looking at the arts council. So that is under construction at the moment. Um, we had started it at Christmas and then everything happened with COVID. So we, we, we've put that off until this year. But we're also, we keep going back to the model, what haven't we done and how can we, we work to, to get this going? So we, the aim for the Youth Council is to bridge between the Arts Department and other parts of the curriculum um, and the wider community. So there's lots of questions that we want to ask the, the children to ask the other staff. Um, like, can you think of a topic that would benefit from a visual interpretation? Where could that be? And how could we, we build that within your, your department? So we're trying to, to send them out into the other departments and see how art can can be relevant to their, their studies. Um, there's an example of some questions uh, on one of the next slides, um, but we can just go through that. If you want an example of the questionnaire that I've given to other heads of departments, then um, please email me and I'll forward that to you. And I've also given it to, to Leanne as well. So if we uh, move on to the art of well-being, um, I just wanted to talk about the uh, schools Connect partners. Um, so I can't stress how important the Schools Connect partnership is. Um, we, because we're a secondary school, we're connected with UCA and the Cam Cox team at UCA have been absolutely amazing. We have delivered over 60 workshops for the Creative Cam and they have sent us all the materials for these workshops and delivered it via the like this via um, the internet. Um, the aim is to make staff, and, it, and it's been the other staff, not the art staff, that it, all other staff who teach life skills that have been involved with this, so and getting teachers on board as well as the students. Okay, so uh, I think the next slide is just another example of this as well. And then uh, another thing is um, how important these connections are. So we have connections with um, Canterbury Christchurch University and with them we've been working at the State Exchange where we've taken students there um, to exhibit and um, run workshops in the State Modern, which has been absolutely amazing. So once you make these connections and talk to other people, um, it's important to say yes to things and uh, get involved in projects projects, even if you think that that's the last thing that you can manage and try and squeeze it in, because um, these things usually end up happening and unfolding themselves. Um, and then we're talking about embedding the arts awards into the curriculum. So at Key Stage 3, um, we are making everything that we do in art and design um, a possible arts award bronze. Um, and then for year seven so that's cross design and technology and art and design and then moving on to year the old the middle years they could do the silver for the, the students that are more, more interested in joining the, the arts um, youth council and then going into the, the sixth form and um, they could do the arts award goals part for the a level um, and then we're going on to marketing and communication, raising the profile. I think this has been mentioned a few other times on the, the web, uh, um, using the website and talk to people. Um, and then that's under construction as well. <laughs> um, and I, I realise I'm running low on time here. So I just wanted to, if anyone's got any questions that they want to email me, I'm more than happy to share anything here or um, send anything out that I can. I can to help. Okay. Thank you so much, Jean. And um, I just loved all those images because actually that I've been to visit the school um, pre-COVID and that is exactly how I remember uh, walking in and seeing such wonderful dedication to space and to um, to just seeing and, and just, yeah, just immersing ourselves in this space that has um, ch children and students artwork everywhere. And it's just wonderful. 
Um, and I've seen um, June's uh, logic model for her art smart plan. And um, I think you said June in the previous um, slide that actually you'd be really happy to share that and to really useful way of mapping um, your provision against that.